Stay with me, I've got a very special treat in mind for you. Come on now, keep up. Ah, oh, we've actually gone past it there. We're looking at the Ford Corsair today, manufactured by Ford of Britain. The Corsair from 1963 to 1970. Now that was before colour television, before decimalisation in the UK. When Corsairs die, they come here. It's like Westworld, the film. Check that out if you haven't seen it. These guys are engineers, fixers, and they're clever with it too. This is where the cars are given eternal life. They allow them to live forever. This is where the magic happens. Well, you know, I think it's high time that we revisit Ford Corsair because this time, here in 2022, at the Practical Car and Restoration Show, the guys are really alive. There are uh, several projects on the go here and these cars are being restored. Well, have a look round and I actually think you'll be amazed at the range of classics that the guys have brought to the show and working on as well. And they seem like a friendly bunch as well, so let's go and have a look. Oh, here we go. It's um, Ford Corsair Revisited. These guys won the best uh, working stand and show and uh, that was back in 2019 and uh, I tell you they are not mucking about <laughs> we've got several projects and when you look actually and see some of the models that are here that car in blue it's a convertible the speakers are still in the back as well just looks tremendous the Ford Corsair is an uncomplicated aerodynamic design the front sharp horizontal V-shaped crease at the very front of the car into which round headlights are inset. This gave the car relatively aerodynamic shape. There's a great way to do your brakes. Take the axle off. Good, eh? You won't see a vinyl roof on the cars today, but we'll leave that for another day. Let's go back to the heyday of the Ford Corsair with a production run from 1963 to 1970. But as you will see, there are still many on the road today thanks to the expertise of the Ford Corsair Owners Club. The Ford Corsair was succeeded by the Mark III Cortina and all the cars that we see on stand today are right-hand drive. The silver estate here is a four-door, plus the hatchback, of course, one of the last of the production run in 1970, I'm guessing, because it's on an H-plate. The blue convertible here is a two-door, the uh, 1967 Crayford GT, it's up on ramps, and the white estate that you see is a four-door hatch, from 1968 and it's on axle stands and moving towards the uh, car at the end it's the red Crayford convertible it's a two-door from 1967 and when we get to the back of it if you look out there's a tow bar there it's uh, also resting on four dollies and if you look closely there's no two wheels matching but it's obviously a work in progress at this stage. The interior of the car that you see there, the black seating, all from the white estate car. Originally assembled in Halewood, England, between 1964 and 1969, and for the final year of the production run, everything was assembled in Dagenham. There's the tow bar that I spoke about. There were a variation in styles available. The four-door saloon, the two-door saloon, which was quite rare, and predominantly the left-hand drive market, but the two-door convertible, and also two-door cabriolet, and at the far end of this display the five-door estate car. 
the Consul Corsair 1500 produced between 1963 and 1965 came in a few variations the standard two and four door the deluxe two and four door and the 1500 GT two and four door as well total production run over those two years roughly 160,000 units and latterly the Corsair V4 were produced between 1965 and 1970 with roughly 171,000 of those variations produced. Over the six year production period roughly there are 600 cars um, thought to survive in the UK today with roughly 100 uh, convertibles built over the period, 75 appear to be surviving. The Practical Car and Restoration Show. It's not called that at random. There's a reason for it because we've got stands like here on the Ford Corsair stand. You can actually see the guys have got several projects on the go. Hello everybody. Hiya. Toot toot. Peep peep. Well, oh, Steve, -o, it's actually called the Practical Classics. Classic Car and Restoration Show. Anyway, I enjoyed it. Thank you everybody for watching. I think that was amazing because even in the convertible there was loads of space in the boot. Now, if you'd like to give the Ford Corsair the thumbs up, that would be good of you to do so. And of course you can subscribe to SLR TV. If you'd like to see more for Corsair, I'm going to put a link for you to see a film that I did in November of 2021 on the Ford Corsair. In the meantime, from Stevo and myself, Gregory Bear, we'll catch you next time on SLR TV. I hope you can join us then. Toot toot, peep peep, see ya.